Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Health. I'm here today to look into AC voltage on the human rib cage. And as you can see, we have a model of a rib cage in front of us. And uh, we also have a multimeter. This multimeter is actually connected to ground outside the house. And we have a positive probe going in to the top rib of our rib cage. And as you can see, these ribs are made out of garden irrigation tube. We have four of them. And they're linked together with little copper links. So right now, it's all connected together as a rib cage. And as you can see, we have 4.3 volts on our rib cage. And the light in the background is actually passing current through the cable. We have this cable that's running behind here, two loops of an AC extension cord and it doesn't run through the rib cage, it actually just runs down the back of it and uh, it's inducing an AC voltage onto the water that's inside the ribs and it's just standard tap water, standard hard tap water, there's nothing special about it and uh, it's an interesting effect that we're seeing. Now I'm going to switch off the lamp and we can see what happens when no current is passed through the extension lead. So as you can see, it actually dropped the voltage. So cables that are passing current actually will induce voltage onto water and actually the more current that's flowing through the cables, the larger the voltage will be. But as we can see, it only dropped it by about 0.2 of a volt. So we've still got 4.1 volts. So the bulk of the induction effect that has taken place onto the water that's in the ribs is just coming from the mere presence of voltage on the cable. There is no current flowing through the cable right now. Uh, essentially it's open circuit. So uh, let's see what happens when we start taking ribs out of the circuit. So right now we have all four ribs in. Let's take out the links one at a time and see what happens to the voltage. So here's the first link. Okay, so we've dropped to 3.9 volts. Let's take out the second link. So we drop to 3.2 volts, and the final link. Okay, 2.1 volts. So as we can see, the voltages add up in the rib cage, and the more ribs they have in, the higher the voltage gets. And it's probably the same in the human rib cage. So let's put the links back in, and we'll take off a looper cable. That's the first link. Second link. Third link. Okay, so we're uh, back to 4.1 volts. Let's take off a loop of cable. So we just have one length of cable running down the back of the rib cage now. And we're at 3.1 volts. So again, let's take out the links and see what happens. This is the first link, so we dropped to 2.6 volts. The second link has dropped to 2.1 volts. And the final link has dropped to 1.4 volts. So a very interesting effect. So let's put the links back in and then we'll remove the cable. So first link, second link, third link. So we're back to 3.1 volts. So let's take off the final piece of cable. So it's quite a change. We dropped to 0.035 volts AC. So uh, as we can see, the, the voltage was definitely coming from the cable. And let's take out the links and see what effect that has. So that's the first link. So we're down to 
zero one nine volts. Second link has dropped us down to point zero one one volts. And the final link has dropped us down to point zero zero nine volts. So it's uh, quite different. So this effect is probably happening uh, continually in the human body and whenever you get around voltage fields you're probably having quite large voltages induced into you. As you can see we've just got four ribs in our model but the human body has many more ribs. So this effect on the human body when you get around electrical systems means that you may actually find that your body voltage gets into the range of tens of volts and possibly even hundreds of volts and you're just not aware of it. You won't be able to sense it and uh, it will have impacts on your health. And this is called electromagnetic hypersensitivity. So if you Google electromagnetic hypersensitivity, you'll find the effects that putting the human body into voltage fields has on it. And uh, it's an emerging field of human health and I'm currently researching it. And if you want to find out more, my book, called Toxic Health has a whole bunch of information about these effects and uh, many other electrical effects that occur around the human body. So there you have it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.